G'day! Today I'm going to walk you through the setup process for a Nano Station Loco M2 in order to be able to use it as an access point for a normal computer as opposed to connecting it to another Ubiquiti device. After connecting your uh, Ubiquiti up to a power connection and uh, to the Ethernet port of your computer you'll need to set your IP address to 192.168.1. anything but 20 and as long as it's on its own you don't have to worry about what number if you've got other things on your network it can't be number 1 or 254 generally and once you've done that and your uh, nano stations booted up open up a web browser go to 192.168.1.20 press enter and then you'll need to go continue to this web page because it is a HTTPS even though the certificates are invalid that's common with all the UBNT devices it's one of my only big gripes with them if you're using Firefox and you go to access it and it won't let you in you actually have to add the exception permanently so that it'll leave you alone so that you can then continue to get on your merry way. Sign in with the default, which is UBNT, UBNT, select your country, this is important. This, this uh, sets up what channels are available to you uh, and, and all that sort of thing, make sure it's all legal. Uh, because if you don't, um, if you don't select the correct frequencies and you're uh, transmitting on a illegal frequency, you can get in big trouble for it. The first thing you need to do once you're in here is you need to change your admin password. Failing to do this, it'll keep bugging you until you do. And in the new firmware versions, uh, you can't. you can't uh, make any actual changes um, because it won't allow you to actually save whatever it is you change so you set up your password and yeah, it's winding it's a weak one because it's just numbers but that's okay it's more just to stop it from being a twat so click the change button apply that so that one's done, we've got our new password in. Now what we want to do here is go into our network. It's probably doing a quick reboot. Oh, there we go. I'll wait for that to come back. Okay, we're back in. The next stage is to get this thing onto your common network. <clears throat> Makes life a bit simpler. So I'm just going to pick a random number, which I had working before, because I've already done this once. Uh, it tried to trick me up to get the access point part working, which is why I'm making this video. So we just change that. Just uh, hit apply. You can do multiple uh, changes in a row, but it's easier just to do them one at a time, just so you can keep track of them. So now I need to go back and change my uh, network settings. Let's put this back all to default. This comes out. Ethernet goes into the power supply, and then I get another Ethernet cable. For this, which I've got. Sorry about the uh, handheld camera. It's kind of an impromptu video, so it's probably a couple of small mistakes being made at the moment. But that's okay. So set this to work. Close that. Now. 
put in my new uh, IP address, 168.0.44. Now that's, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait for that to finish. All right, so same deal with that. Put in our username, put in our new password. In we go. Okay, and now we can set up our wireless. Now to set this up as a um, an access point, once you've done your network configuration, um, you'll need to go into your wireless mode up here. Set this to focus. Thank you. Access point. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Make sure you've given it your SSID, type in your security code. I'm using WPA2 at the moment, so that should all be fine there. Change that, apply. And once that's done, we go up to this button up here. And you've got this Air Max option here under Air Max settings. You need to disable that. Uh, if you don't disable it, none of your computers or phones will ever be able to connect to it. Because Air Max is their proprietary method of communicating uh, with the ubiquity stuff from one, one device to another. Uh, and that's how they get their speeds and things. But we only want this to be an access point. Now these options here aren't here unless you actually go into the wireless tab and tell it it's an access point. Come on. So that's on access point. You then get the options to turn Air Max off, which you have to do. Once that's done and everything's happy and you think it's going to do what you want it to do, Hit your logout, that bit's done. And then we come over to our computer. We want to connect up to the Wi Fi. Connect and then put in our code. And we now have internet. So go details. So it's DHCPing with on the zero on the zero network. So that's cool. That's cool. So I can actually now from this computer. .168.0.44. So we're now actually connected to the same unit. And it's showing us that we've got connections and data. They really haven't sent much through at the moment, just a web page. But it says that we're connected and everything's working. So I call that one a success. And that's how you set it up. One little, basically, it's this is what stops people being able to use these as access points out of the box. That there, I reckon, should be available from the get go. Uh, or it should automatically be disabled or on this page would be actually better uh, under the wireless page when you set access point that it gives you the option to turn on and off with a recommendation that wouldn't be too hard to do but no anyway that's all done uh, that's how it's done pretty easy uh, all up about five ten minutes cool thanks for watching